Hello, and welcome to the AI Revolution podcast. For years, the European Union has been seen as the world's chief AI referee, you know, writing the rule book with its landmark AI Act. Right. But now, Brussels is changing its game plan. It doesn't just want to set the rules, it wants to win the game. That's exactly right. The European Commission has just launched this uh, massive new AI first strategy. Hmm. And the reason, a surprisingly low number, only 13.5% of businesses in the EU are currently using AI. Wow. The Commission sees this as a major threat to productivity and growth, and they're, they're determined to change it. An AI first approach. That sounds bold. Yeah. But how do you even go from a number that low to, to widespread adoption? It can't just be a slogan. It's far from it. This is a very concrete two-part plan. So first, there's the Apply AI strategy, which is all about practical help. Okay. They're turning over 250 digital innovation hubs into AI experience centers, which are essentially showrooms where businesses can see and, you know, test drive European-made AI models. So that addresses the what can AI do for me question. Right. But I imagine a lot of CEOs are more worried about the what will the regulators do to me question especially with the AI Act looming. And that's the clever part. The EU is launching an AI Act service desk, a dedicated hotline to help businesses navigate the complexities of compliance. Oh, interesting. The message is clear. We want you to innovate, and we will help you do it safely and legally. It's about building guardrails, not roadblocks. So they're really trying to solve that that innovation versus regulation puzzle. Right. But this isn't just about using existing AI, is it? Exactly. Are Europe aiming to create the next big thing? Absolutely. That's where the ambition really kicks in. They've announced a frontier AI initiative. Okay. The goal is to uh, accelerate the development of next generation AI by bringing together Europe's leading industrial and academic players and giving them access to the continent's most powerful supercomputers. And it's not just for commercial tech, right? No. I saw they have a huge focus on science, too. Yes, the AI and science strategy. Its centerpiece is a new virtual institute called RAISE. That's Resource for AI Science in Europe. RAISE, okay. The whole idea is to pool Europe's best talent, data, and computing power to tackle some of humanity's biggest challenges. Right. With a specific mention of finding new medicines for diseases like Alzheimer's. Wow. So this is a genuinely comprehensive vision from helping, say, a local manufacturing company adopt its first AI tool. Yeah. All the way to funding supercomputer powered research for curing diseases. Exactly. As Commission President Ursula von der Leyen put it, this is about ensuring that the future of AI is made in Europe. Hmm. It's a powerful attempt to be both a leader in safe, ethical AI and a powerhouse of innovation. It's a bold and fascinating strategy, trying to be both the strictest rulemaker and and the fastest innovator on the track. Yeah. Which leads us to a final thought for our listeners. Now, here's a question we'd like you to think about. Can you truly foster disruptive, fast-paced innovation within a system built on robust regulation and safety? Mm. Or will one inevitably slow the other down? 